Is everything okay? Do you need some help? I can't tell you who it is, because no one's told me. All I know is they're sending someone in to run things while the superintendent's on suspension. We'll just carry on as normal. Right. Shoot me! <laughs> what are you doing here? Charity Wild. Just the man I'm looking for. Actually, it's not a great time. You heard about the chief? Yeah. Our soul they've sent to replace him is due in any time. Is he now? I don't understand. You're a DI. It's a hell of a jump up the ladder to acting chief superintendent. I'm as surprised as you are, pal. The call literally came out of the blue. But I'm hardly going to turn it down, am I? Oh, uh, come on, shit. Neither has to be. Hey, hey, hey. Whitney. OK? Don't think the nickname's appropriate under the circumstances, do you, Charlie? No. Sorry, force of habit. Look, I shouldn't be telling you this. But Ray showed your mother classified documents. No, oh, he would never. And there is talk that you knew about it. You were complicit. That's bollocks. Things got sloppy under Ray. Now I've been sent in to make this unit more efficient. So, while the internal investigation is ongoing, you need to have nothing more to do with him. Not a problem. Or your mother. What? She's my mother. I can't not talk to my own mother. As much as I'd like that sometimes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I understand and I respect your decision, Charlie. Thanks, shit. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sir. But it gives me no choice but to suspend you from duty as of now. Okay? Good lad. I'd just like to say a few words. I wrote it down like, but then I lost a bit of paper. You don't need to say anything, Dad. No, 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 we did. I'm very proud of you, Fairness. You've done so well, son. I don't know what I did right to get two such amazing kids. When your mommy left us, God bless our soul. She's not dead, Da. More's the pity. Da! Sorry. Uh, I didn't know how I'd cope. And I wouldn't have. If I hadn't been for you, Ferg. I know you've done so well in your exams. I can't believe it. I'm absolutely thrilled. And. A big part of that has to go to your fairy godmother here. Oh. Harry, thank you for what you've done for my son. For all of us. <laughs> You're a saint. Oh! <laughs> I think that's God disagreeing. <laughs> to Fergus. Fergus. To me. <laughs> okay. My round, I think. Same again? Mm-hmm. I'm 
I'm sorry Lola couldn't come. You know I don't agree with Lola. Nah, it's fine. No biggie. I, I thought you two were... Oh, no, no, it was nothing serious. Got hard to imagine you playing house with someone. It's just temporary. There you go. Honey bunny. Thanks. Possibly very temporary. Oh, it's not like you to be late. You missed all the free booze. Have I? Bugger. Look, Ray's at the bar. Just tell him what you want. Right. Oh, I almost forgot. I brought someone to see both of you. You know my Petra? Yeah, the, the one that always steals from you. Yeah, that's her. She's got a cousin, Valerie, who works in Lidl, see? And her co-worker, Tanya, she's got a schnauzer called Ralphie. OK, now, poor little Ralphie, he's got terrible trouble with his teeth. Rotting in his head, they are. And Tanya's tried everything, but he will not let her clean them. He's a stubborn little bugger. I'm very confused, Glenn. Who have you brought to see us? Valerie, <laughs> Tanya, or the mutt? Oh, none of them. I brought the receptionist who works at the vets where Tanya brings Ralphie. Zoe, come on, don't be shy. This is Harry, and this is Fergus. Zoe. Did you go to the guards? Surely they take abduction seriously. They did to begin with, but then they ran my details and... I'm not gonna lie, I've had some issues with drugs and alcohol in the past. But I've been sober for two years, one month and 27 days. But before that, I was a mess. I made a false allegation against my ex and the guards just think I've gone off the wagon. But I swear that I haven't. Do you remember anything? Anything at all? Bits. Some of it doesn't make sense. All of it, really. I was at a table and it was like a dinner party. And there were other people there? I don't remember their faces. This isn't gonna help in convincing you I'm not drunk. But Elvis was there. Like a big, fat Elvis. And then I was running through the woods and Elvis was chasing me. passed out, and when I woke up, I was wearing this. Looks old. Vintage. Are you going to help me? Because I'm terrified that they're going to come back for me, and I'm pretty sure I'm still being followed. Of course we can help. What is going on here? Drum kit! Brilliant, isn't it? Where did it come from? Okay, so, I woke up this morning, and I don't know why, but I felt like today is the first day of the rest of my life. Do you know what I mean? It, this does not explain the drums. No, so I had all this energy, and I thought I'd go for a run. And I got to the next street over, and there's this guy loading all of these instruments into his garage. So, I stopped, and I got talking to him, and it turns out his wife is having a baby, and his music room is now a nursery. <laughs> and just last night, I was talking to your man, uh, Glenn, oh. and he said that maybe, maybe, my suspension is a blessing in disguise. It's the universe telling me that I'm still a relatively young man and I don't need to be a guard anymore. So you're going to be a drummer? Yeah, I know, I know, but why not? It, it was my dream as a kid. Did I never tell you that? Yes, yes, you did. Look, Ray, I get it. You worked to bollocks off to become chief. And having that taken away would knock anyone for six, but we are going to get your job back. Yeah, but that's just it, Harry. I don't think I want it back. Yes, you do. We both know you do. You're just fooling yourself. Mm, no. 
I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. Need any help? Just say. Uh, actually, we do. Um, we were wondering if uh, if this was bought here. Oh yes, absolutely. I remember this. Oh, lovely piece, don't you think? <laughs> do you remember who bought it? I do. As it happens, I remember him well because he asked for it to be altered, you see? Said it was a little on the large side for his lady friend. Would you know the name of this man? Oh, yes. He had to leave his name and number so I could phone him when the dress was ready. Ah, <laughs> uh, here it is. It's Josh Cooper. That can't be. Josh is my ex. The one that I made the false allegation against. Maybe he's holding the grudge? He's not the type. Plus, that definitely wasn't him. Josh is tall and skinny. Can you think of anyone who might be responsible? There is this one guy, Keith. He runs my local AA. He's kind of creepy. But I don't know, it didn't feel like him either. Hmm. Why so many French folks? I'm half French. My mother. My father's Irish. Oh, you might want to think about staying there. They live in Provence, a place called Pertuis. I haven't spoken to them for... I put them through a ton of shit back in the day, and they want nothing to do with me. Well, parents can be very forgiving. I can't. It'd end me if they didn't take my call. So, how do we go about finding this, uh, Josh Cooper? What if he doesn't live here anymore? I mean, Zoe's not seen him in years. Is there any one way to find out? You do remember what happened the last time you knocked on a kidnapper's door. But this is different. Besides, last time I didn't knock. Right. Well, I'm coming with you. Oh, it does take two people to knock on a door. <laughs> okay. Then you stay here. Oh, God. That is never a good sign when it happens in the movies. We should call Charlie. Good idea. You call him. He's not talking to me. Harry. My darling Zoe, if I can't have you, then I don't want to live. Okay. Now it's time to call Charlie. Let's hope he's not going to be too tiresome. Harry, this is Acting Chief Superintendent Robin Whitney. He's Ray's replacement. Harry Wilde. Heard lots about you. Where's Charlie? He's been suspended. Well, what on earth for? Same thing as my predecessor. I guess I've you to thank for my promotion. Ray never showed me any classified documents. And neither did Charlie. And superintendents, acting or not, are rarely the investigating officers. Well, I guess I'm a little bit more hands-on than my predecessor. In some respects. Oh. 
Jordan here will make sure you guys get to the station. A Miss McCann is also being picked up. We'll need to question all of you. Okay? Good lad, Jordan. Nice to meet you, Harry. I don't like him. Join the club. in the same room. I'm Miss McCann's legal rep. Well, you can't have just anyone as your legal representative. I have a PhD in law, so yes, she can help me. Is that true? As far as I know, sir. Bloody marvelous now. Nice. For the benefit of the tape, I'm showing Miss McCann a mobile phone marked into evidence as 1RW. Miss McCann, do you recognize that? Yes. It's mine. My old one. I lost it on the night I was abducted. Was this from Josh's house? You said earlier that you didn't think it was Josh who abducted you. Uh, for the benefit of the tape, Acting Chief Superintendent Whitney just used air quotes about abducted. Now, what, what, what does that mean? Miss McCann, what can you tell me about Baleem Dushku? I don't know who that is. Oh, I find that very hard to believe, seeing as your boyfriend worked for him. Baleem Dushku is an Albanian national, a drug dealer, and Josh's employer during the time you claim you guys were a couple. No, Josh worked in clubs selling pills for his friend Rabbit. I don't know what Rabbit's real name was, but I don't think it was Baleem. Rabbit's real name is Michael Byrne. He worked for Dushku, Josh worked for him, ergo, therefore, Josh worked for Dushku. Did you work for Baleem Dushku too? What? No. Josh Cooper didn't commit suicide. He was murdered, made to look like an overdose. Miss McCann, did you kill Josh Cooper on the orders of Baleem Dushku and make it look like an accidental overdose? What? <laughs> no, I... Uh... Harry, this is tenuous and we both know it. Did you find any of my client's fingerprints at the house other than on her phone? Miss McCann. Answer the question. The investigation is ongoing. So in other words, no? Well, I'm sure I don't have to remind you, Chief Superintendent of Section 51 brackets 1 brackets A of Angada Shiokana Evidentiary Act 1989, Section 1 brackets 1 and 4 brackets 3. It's in your client's best interest to cooperate fully with the... Well, she is fully cooperating. What was the preliminary time of death? Uh, yesterday between four and six. Oh, well, that's it. Zoe was with me. Uh, need I remind you of Talbot? The... Look, stop, okay? Stop. We're done. This is over. Marvelous. There is no Ungarda Shia Corner Evidentiary Act of 1989. Is there not? Hmm. One would expect a chief superintendent to know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, I gotta go. I'll see you soon. Thanks, Harry. I couldn't have done that. Talk to him like that. I need to go to a meeting. With who? We'll give you a lift. Uh, actually, I'm going to go and see me mate. He lives nearby. Listen, uh, don't worry, Zoe. We'll work it out, yeah? Zoe, I didn't mean to startle you there. It's okay. Just, my mind was elsewhere. How are you, Keith? Oh, you know, making sure I don't pick a fight with reality. Not one any of us are going to win. <laughs> if you don't mind me saying, I mean, not that it's my place to say. Please, just 
Say it. You're looking stressed. I want to say. Not that it's my place. There's just a lot going on at the moment. I understand. Remember, if you ever need to talk, I'm always available. 24-7, 365, 66 in a leap year. If you like, feel free to throw your panties at us. Glenn. What, Harry? Piss off. Right, you are. <coughs> Wait, I'll come with you. We need to work on a name for the band. Good man. Ray. You don't want this. Do you regard that's who you are? You don't know Vivian, Harry. Oh. She always gets what she wants. My career is over. Just let me forget that for a little longer, yeah? What about you three? I'll show Bono the prick. I don't get it. Well, it's one better, isn't it? One better than what? to America. Ride a horse across some wide open spaces, you know? Can you ride a horse? No. <laughs> you want to come with me? My mom would have an absolute shit fit, so... Yeah. Zoe? Everything all right? There's someone in the house. Well, get out of there. No, I can't. I... They've taken the keys out of the door, so I can't unlock. Ah! Zoe? Zoe? Phone, Harry. Zoe? Zoe? Done a runner, has she? No. Someone took her. I heard it. Oh, you heard it? And what exactly did you hear, huh? Struggle, struggle, scream, scream. She's only acting it out for your benefit. You seem to have made your mind up before you even arrived here. Well, riddle me this. Why call the kid? 
because I'm the first on her call list. Either that or because out of the two of you, you're the easier one to fool. Tell me something, acting chief superintendent. Who did you have to fuck to get this job? Because clearly you didn't get it on brains. <clears throat> I hate that one. I knew you were being too cool yesterday. No big deal. Plenty of fish in the sea. Did you say that about me? No, I never said anything about fish. I was throwing her off the scent, okay? Like we agreed and clearly it worked. Your mother's gonna have an embolism when she finds out you two are still seeing each other. Well, you can tell her or not. Life's just a series of choices, Granny. Go and help your ma, will you? There's more in the car. More in the car, you say? I know what happened. I met Whitney, the man's an idiot. He has people he has to answer to. Most everyone else does. Oh, so this is awkward, and I hope we can get past it. And I apologize for the situation with Ray. I mean, it's just one of those things. Yeah, because there aren't that many men in the world, so you have to pick my best friend. Yes, you're right. But listen, I need your help. There's this young woman, Zoe McCann. Whitney thinks she's on I'm the I'm gonna stop you right there because I don't care. I'm not a guard anymore because of you. You're exaggerating. You've just been suspended, that's all. And it wasn't my fault. Vivian's the one who wanted to. I was good at it. I really liked my job, so go away, Harry. Zoe is so vulnerable. <laughs> just go away, Harry. Harry. Oh! Get out of my house, please. I'm looking for Zoe McCann. She was at the two o'clock meeting. I brought her here myself. She's gone missing. Oh, I knew something was wrong. I could sense the anxiety. Unfortunately, that sort of thing, it happens all the time with the people who come here. They fall off the wagon. Poor Zoe. She was doing so well. She was abducted. No, I shouldn't think so. No, I'm telling you, that's what happened. And I hear you. It's good to talk in these situations. Would you like a cup of tea? <sighs> I don't get it. Just because she has the same type of sugar. It means she goes to the same meetings. Think about it. The dress came from here. And we only know about Josh Cooper because of her. I mean, it's a bit thin. She wanted to throw us off track, so she sent us on a wild goose chase just to keep us busy. I and mean, how would she even know about him? Zoe said she talked about Josh at a meeting. I mean, maybe. And the store's closed in the middle of the day. I mean, that's weird, right? Oh, yeah. No, definitely a kidnapper then. I mean, you've totally convinced me. Why don't you just stay here and keep an eye out? I'm going to ask the neighbor if they know where she lives.
track me? What does that mean? Charlie, I know you're not talking to me, but I just need you to know that I'm at a place called Hanklow Farm on the Dunboyne Road. And if you never hear from me again, that's where my corpse will be. Love you. Wake up. Hurry. Uh, you all right? Is your head spinning? It's okay. It passes. What, what the hell's going on here? 
painted the bloody floor. Guess what? You're right. Karen's beckoned wire to the moon. Does anybody know you're here? Oh, that's Brian. And this is Marie. You're right about the meetings, Harry. That's where she targeted them. She picks people no one will miss. Is there anybody going to come for us? I left a message with Charlie. That's her son. He's a guard. Yeah? Is he coming? When? I don't know if he'll get the message. God's sake, I can't take this anymore. I can't sit through this bloody thing again. You can, Brian. Listen to me. No matter what she says, no matter what she does, she's right. Got it? Just agree with her. It's easier that way, trust me. And no matter what you do, don't mention Jim. Who's Jim? <laughs> Have you all met? I wonder what that could mean for later. <sighs> so, we've got our new friend back after the other day's mix-up. And two new unexpected friends. <laughs> oh, this is going to be the best night ever. <laughs> oh, poor love. I blame myself. I got the dose wrong. <laughs> Done it a hundred times. But it was way with the fairies that night. Yeah, he woke up earlier than expected and wandered off, hmm? We tried to stop her. Yep, we called Hector. I was playing Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies. Karen said I could. No. You didn't know where you were. You didn't know what you were doing. Don't touch me, you crazy bitch. What are you doing? Hey, no! 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 It was my grandmother's recipe. Been in the family for generations. Why dinner parties? A funny question. Sure, who doesn't like a dinner party? <laughs> good food, good friends, good conversation. Must have been very lonely growing up here with just your grandmother. How do you know about that? Your photos. You're very bright, aren't you? Your diploma, first. Very impressive. But something happened. Something made you stay here. Would you like to know what? It was a shoe. <laughs> a feckin' shoe. Changed the course of my life. Just graduated. With that degree, I could have gone anywhere in the world, done anything. Went for a walk. I came home, kicked off my shoes like I'd done a thousand times before. Oh, but this time Granny didn't see it. She tripped on it. Her, her foot went out from under her. She broke her back. My fault. But how could I have left then? What sort of ungrateful girl leaves then? But you didn't, did you? You stayed. It says a lot about you as a person. You did the decent thing. The hard choice. But it cost you. The years dragged on. You watched your life ebbing away. And that old woman, wheelchair bound, just would not die. <laughs> you got all that from old photos. And then Granny dies. Finally, you're free. Your life can begin. But you're still here. 
You met a man. Ah! How do you know about that? There's no photos of him. He was a liar and a cheat. All those years waiting for my life to begin and I pick him. The dirty man. I decided then no one would ever do that to me again. You don't lie to me, do you? Oh, no, Karen! No, no, never. No, no one will ever make a fool of me again. Ah! 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 Oh, no! Did they not tell you the rules? <laughs> she didn't know, Karen. She didn't know. Please, please don't do this. Why don't anybody talk to us about Jim? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Say that name in my house! <laughs> Picking up all the light. Inside. Goes to Mitchell. And Limerick can make a number that wide here if they want to defend this, because that's where Cork are going. And they've got pace there. Oh, I think she broke her rib. I can't do this. I'm not strong like you. You've been strong for two years, one month, and 28 days. You can do 29, OK? Hector, please! Why aren't you tied up? I'm family. Family's the most important. I don't see the family resemblance. What was your grandmother like, Hector? Don't know. Don't remember. That's weird. What do you remember? Ta-da! <laughs> Why don't I remember Granny, Karen? You forget things, Hector. You know you do. We'll have no more talk of that. Porridge. You remember Porridge? <laughs> he was my dog. He was grey. Maybe from another home? You have to follow the rules. <laughs> oh! Karen? Where's my dog? Did you play on the farm with Porridge? Shut up. No, it was by the sea. By the fairground next to Crazy Mouse. But I wasn't allowed to go in there because you couldn't take dogs. Karen, where's my dog? She killed him. <sighs> Didn't you, Karen? You took him out and you shot him. No! <sighs> Why would you do that, Karen? Why would you do that to Porridge? They're lying, Hector. They're not our friends. They're not family. You're not family either, Hector. I, I know this fairground. It's famous. It's in Tremor. It's a long way from here. No more. Oh. Karen, what oh. did you do to Porridge? Oh. Hector, enough, enough. For more, we, we'll take you there. If you let go of Karen. Here's <laughs> Charlie. Vivian? You need a real estate, Ray. We both know that he didn't show me any classified files. I don't know that. Not for sure. But what we do know for sure is that you're no more innocent than he is. And what is that supposed to mean? Well, that means you're screwing Whitney. How dare you? And you're rather fond of the White Hart Hotel in Castlenock. They are discreet. Well, the manager is. Less so the chambermaids, you know, they're paid minimum wage. Ray broke his vows, but then so did you. The only difference is that he didn't do it with a subordinate, which, in these hashtag Me Too days, is really frowned upon. Hmm. 
And how do you know that? I didn't. Just guess. It occurred to me that he must be screwing a higher up. Only explanation for how he got that job. <laughs> and the hotel? Oh, he had a book of matches with the logo on it. Shut in the dark, really. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Thank you for calling me back. Yes. She's right here. Hello? Daddy? Thank you. Time to clean house. I'm sorry if I gave you the wrong impression. But I like my freedom. And I don't want to live with you or anyone else. Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. <laughs> oh. Vivian's withdrawn the accusation. You can have your old job back. Oh, thank Christ for that. How? How did you make her do that? I can be charming when I want to. Huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want you to know that I am truly sorry for what I did. It was selfish. I jeopardized your career, and that was wrong. Well, Ray's got his job back. Whitney's gone. And Ray and I... And I want to thank you for coming to our rescue. You were too late, and we'd already sorted it all out, but still. Thank you. You could have ignored me. Mum. Thanks. Harry, will you stay for a glass of wine? I promise I won't pour it on you. <laughs> Thanks, but uh, I'm meeting a friend. Talk about an eventful few months. God, you know what? Life is good. Get more stability now than ever before. I mean, I passed my junior cert, which I did not think I would do, so thank you. <laughs> Got a girlfriend. One you'll be extremely respectful towards. Of course. Or I'll have her gran to answer to. Mm. I've heard she can be a bit of a dragon. Oh, definitely. She has her moments. <laughs> God, we, we own a business. I mean, I am a company director. And I'm having fun. Thanks, Harry. And I thought retirement was going to be boring. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> my man. <laughs>